Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoy the video. Exactly. Just do it! Damn, fucking Shia LaBeouf. And I'm sad, I was like, I was trying to skip past the intro, but I sad scrolled part of, past a couple parts where I was like, no, spoiler! And, and I get it, and it's not like it's anything major or anything that I saw, but it's just like one of those things where I was like, and it's to the point the same for like watching trailers for shit, where I'm like, I don't know if I even want to watch trailers and spoil myself. Ooh, yeah, that's loud as Holy sh Oh hey, that's Ruby's voice. <laughs> the anime comedy. Good. Because I never want to do that again. All right, Robo girl. You know her short hair is growing on me. We'll cross the bridge, then go left, straight, right, straight, left, up, up, right, straight, right, right, straight, left, left. And my name is Penny. <laughs> Suck it. I'm really sad. I don't know where my Nora is. I'm just gonna look. Yeah, my bubbly, vivacious Nora. They can't get close to that story. Love of, sure. love of my life, heart of my <laughs> universe, star in my sky. Waiting. Also, Where's one bad bitch. Hey, don't say that. We're team first. I just hope the CEO can get us some answers soon. Or holy <laughs> shit, though, <laughs> that's an interesting spatial dysmorphia. Huh? It's, which I get, the and it's one of those depiction things. Like, I had an issue with one of those in uh, the first season. or this. No, it's like the third season, I think. But uh, where the, we could see things, but the right. audience could not, right? It was just kind of implied. What I... Of course. I can't maneuver us through hmm. all that. Do not worry. Ruby is capable of traveling at an extreme velocity from one point to another by breaking herself down to her molecular components, thus negating her mass and then reassembling them at the destination, theoretically making it possible for her to transport all of us in the same way, as mass no longer matters. I... Uh, what? There's the explanation. On all of us. Did Penny just figure that out before you did? Like, she knew you were a faunus before I did. <laughs> Just for the delay. I don't think uh, that's like a big thing. Like Ruby is not, Business. no offense, the sharpest tack in the sh in the fucking book. I'd hate for us to have she... to try motivating you. No, Again. no, yeah, she's fine. She's she's, she's lovably adorable. Motivation I need. Sadly, it doesn't make taking down Pietro's magical science project any less cumbersome. Oh, I trust you can come up with something. Oh, the trust is palpable. <laughs> So much. I, of the to be fair, I was gonna be like, dear Doctor Holandina, is gallivanting around your military compound, unless of course someone else is using his uh, credentials. It, it, yeah, that's bad trust. This dude has already Security beat the shit out of how many soldiers with this tech. Oh, I am not sure he couldn't kill you all from that computer. You've got to be joking. Right. Bars and stone. We're trapped. We pass a hangar. I can hijack an airship and get us off this floating rock. Wait. It's like putting Magneto in a metal cell. We are so close. But then again, I'm just not. I I trust human error more than human uh reliability. Trip. No. Not number one, dud. 
the sign, Bill. Read the sign. Why don't you ever just pay attention? You're in here late all the time. Your coworkers. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Were those his grandma's pants? I don't want to do ever again. Well, she's feeling good. I love Blaze. Ah! Yeah, I, the Blade being a cat is probably some of my favorite like compilations for Stand Ruby. Back, please. That and Penny, but to be fair, it's Penny. Did she just not have her sword there, or was her hand just above the sword? She just has it hanging above the sword for a second there. You saw that, right? All right, here. Let me see if I can slow it down real quick. Oh, oh, right before this. Uh, it was It's interesting. Almost like an animation lag or like a, a, a frame. Back, All right, here. Let's see if I can find it. Right. Just stands there. Just a little bit above the sword. Yeah, yeah. And then here, she finishes the pull. That, that was it. It's just this momentary lapse of not grabbing it. I'm like, huh. Uh, where is everyone? This is a high. Yeah, pretty much that's exactly what I'm thinking is it was like exactly as the camera moved over. Here. Jesus Christ, man. I wonder if my frame rate's just wrong on this hey, TV Dad. right now. I'm ready. Huh? <clears throat> this process is a little complicated, so I'm remoting in the penny from Amity Coliseum. I see. That's not creepy. Not at all. Well, and not even that. It's not the remote access. It's the dude's penny speaking in the dude's voice. Yeah, remote access. I mean, no, man, that's that's fine. It's although I would say if someone had remote access to my brain, I might be a little concerned. To be fair, that is her dad. So, and he seems like a good dad. Hmm. Oh, and of course, Ren is. Um, Damn you, spoiler intro! Every time I think the two of us are making progress, he... <sighs> We've been together our whole lives, but I feel like I understand him less now than ever. And I don't know if that's his fault or mine. When you've been at someone's side for so long, after a while they become a part of you. But that's just it. They're only a part of you. Hey. Don't forget about the rest. Your existence no should not be defined by anyone else, Nora. Without Ren. No. <laughs> Pretty sad, huh? Only well, slightly, but maybe take this opportunity to find out. Do something only Nora can do. Yeah. Like what? Yep. Be strong and hit stuff. Mm. To be fair, I said it was a spoiler, but we all saw this coming, so. At least she's making that realization now. It's something I've been trying to get my nieces and nephews to learn. And after the launch, I'll return to help you all with the evacuation. <laughs> uh, about that, Penny. When Amity goes up, I think you should be on it with Maria and I. But they need me here. Right? Well... Yes, but if you stay far out of Salem's reach, then she can't open the vault. Also that. She can't get to the relic. Also that. So maybe it is for the best. Um we should probably head to the hangar. I love how they're all yes. trepidatious about it, just like, well, I guess. <laughs> we would rather not. Indeed. At least if we want to be heroes. Didn't they already beat their ass? I'm home now, Penny. So your first time losing to us wasn't enough? I was gonna say. We were holding back. We have all said some things we regret, but please, hear me out. 
I know you thought you were doing the right thing when you left with the maiden power. At this point, they are, in my opinion, but... Things have changed. If General Ironwood plans to leave Mantle behind, nothing has changed. I thought you were supposed to protect the people, not hurt them. I would never hurt anyone. Protect the people of Mantle. She's Mantle's protector, right? Or was it Atlas? By stealing the power that should have been hers. Yeah, so I thought she's doing her job. Was the only way to These people are dumb. Do the right thing. People in Atlas and Mantle are going to die. You could stop all of this, Penny. Mm, probably Just not. Open the vault, hand over the relic, and you'll save Atlas. But it won't save Atlas. Salem will find her way to the relic. No right. Where yeah. you go. I don't know why they I thought the sky was safe. One more word, and I'm throwing you in jail right next to your uncle, Runt. Why are they still talking? Uh, Beat their ass! What are you gonna do about it, Tim Can? I know. <laughs> not them. Why are the Ruby kids not beating their ass? This they're wasting precious and valuable time as warriors. What the fuck? Once again, the time for words has been beyond once Salem got here. Not bad. You will not hurt my friends. I was going to say. I'm not going to lie. I'm of the opinion I think Petty could take these clowns without the maiden powers, but that's just based on her overall power output showing throughout the whole damn series. <laughs> this bitch could cut half of this building in half. She's just being nice, which she is. Now, which one of these guys dies is my question, because I feel there's a setup coming for it. Maybe not this episode. Four versus one? Cowards. But Penny's the winter maiden. I'm sure she can hold her own for a little bit. She's still an undertrained winter maiden, unfortunately. Yeah, it's very not long. I wouldn't, like I said, my big argument isn't for the Winter Maiden power. I honestly believe she should be able to trash these fools without it. Based on her showings in previous, uh, previous runs. My other thing that I keep coming back to is that I keep getting, once again, I haven't, s oh right, I forgot about that. He has a really good one. Be strong and hit stuff. Nora, wait! Keep them, yeah. I mean, it makes sense in certain aspects, especially if it's a contest of wills, is what it sounds like. He has to stay stronger than them. It's not like a permanent or auto. Holy fuck! Hurry up, Elm! I can't. Yeah! Now, break. Now break their legs so they can't come back after you. This is pretty simple stuff. You don't even have to kill them. Just break a couple limbs. They're no longer combat viable. If they wanted to stay con- Damn, she got fucked up. Damn. How dare. Damn it. That was our chance. And you fucked it up. Wait. No. I have a message for your operatives. But General, we We understand, sir. Bad writing right there in general, but whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harp on some shit writing in the middle of a fight. <laughs> Let's 
Let's go. Uh, that was very suspicious. No shit. I'd be currently checking my log systems and data connections. I'm not even a tech guy. This is basic ass shit, you know. You coming or what? Oh man. Once again, the fact that they didn't spring into battle is really disappointing to me. I really had hoped they had grown more as warriors after all these experiences, but. They're still letting kind of childish things get in the way of their uh, so overall goal. So sorry. I wish I remembered how old everybody was. It is time for me to go. Oh hell no! This is inexcusable. Then fuck this! We'll I thought they were like thirteen. I thought they were like kids, dude. What the fuck? You cannot be acting like this as almost a grown person. Holy fuck! I know murderers who are 15, dude. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. Holy shit. Uh, all right. Now that my outrage over some really... Like, once again, that one guy is fast enough, strong enough, Good work despite you. having been beaten by one person in the last they fight, said, to take all three of them off the bridge. You can't beat them. With no surprise attack or anything. Just, just fat, just did it. Holy shit, man. My problem with stuff like that is there are clear and definitive ways to make those actions make sense. Another 10 seconds of action, you could easily explain why he swipes all three of them off the bridge. Let's see. I want to check it one more time to see if it's got, got some minor lead up to it or something. But it's little things like that where I'm just like, they they literally have shown to be at least on equal par with these individual members in the previous fight, if not superior because they won. I attribute their winning to teamwork, but still, they won. And then, that. Really? That's that's my point is that it's something that's a shitty plot hole that wouldn't have taken a lot of time to explain for for instance uh it it was again it Right, and that's where it, where it kind of irks me to the point of like, all right, in the earlier chapters, when I thought they were younger, for one, uh, in the earlier chapters, I gave them the benefit of the doubt for being young and inexperienced, right? Because you, young can only account for some of it. Once again, there are child soldiers in Africa right now who would pop caps immediately. You know what I mean? It, it wouldn't have been a question. Uh, it's about experience. And so at the beginning, I gave them a pass on experience because, once again, they're young, new to the game. They're, that's not an excuse anymore. They've been through several life or death situations, several really big decision-making moments where they had to, at that time, go forward and have made the mistake before that they should have learned from it. And yet they're still there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think they <laughs> it it's definitely that and the I exactly and the I think my issue once again stems from this fact that Ruby is otherwise written so well that little things like this pop out to me. Because it's written so well and naturally, when something is not fitting inherently in the narrative, uh you know what I mean? it's just it bothers me whereas little other things and obviously you don't always mention them because and that's a it's the whole uh you only you only hear about the bad stuff right if it's if it's if it's good nobody cares it needs to be excellent if you're gonna mention it 
it's the kind of dichotomy. And so, like, there's definitely absolutely great things that went on in this episode that did do minor good plot movements forward. Uh, you know, uh, the whole thing with Nora is absolutely going to push more plot forward later with subtext. Uh, there's, there's definitely going to be something to do with that blade they took. You know what I mean? Things so small, right? That's it's really such a small thing, can be so big later in helping to explain plot contrivances or eliminate them. And so I just sometimes wonder, I'm like, mm, I I wish they had taken just one more second to 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 do something, right? For instance, right? All right, let's say instead of uh. I would, this one would have been better for me. Instead of knocking them off the platform, he had broken the platform right in front of them. Even if that hadn't sent them careening off, and even knowing it, it gives them pause and reason to pause. That, that was, I literally just thought that. Can he stay multiple people, though? Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, then, yeah, yeah, there you go. There's right there. It, it's just little easy things. And I, I was going to suggest that, but I, was, uh, I had forgotten about the crowd thing. I was under the impression he could only do one or two people. I, and I might, yeah. I also wonder, and obviously it's, it's conjecture either way, that perhaps his ability uh, is limited by the amount of aura he's suppressing movement. So stronger people, harder to harder to sit. But once again, that's just conjecture. No, no signs either way. But once again, they've already shown. So until they tell me that he he can't do it, I'm just assuming that they missed that opportunity to have him sit them and and swipe them off. <clears throat> and once again, it wouldn't bother me so much if it was a difficult plot contrivance to fix. Yeah. Once again, there. Yeah, it's yeah. There's there's always going to be players in this and that. It's just one of those things where I'm like, ah, little details, but still an excellent episode. There's so much build already that I can't wait to see exactly what they're gonna, how they're gonna do it. I'm actually not against dialogue. I know a lot of people are like, and not to like offend them, action junkies. Uh, and they need fighting every episode. I'm not that way. I just need a, a good story. If if the story is still good and you spent a whole episode just talking, good for you. It, uh, I don't know why it reminds me of it, but and obviously it has action as well, but it's under the kind of premise of uh, the two men in a room concept for acting. Uh, if you ever... Uh, the best modern interpretation I can think of it, you might not have seen it either. Have you seen the Family Guy episode where Stewie and Brian are trapped in the bank vault? Okay, so that is the example of two men in a room. It's it's done to limit the acting environment and focus the story, right? There is no actions that are going to happen in a locked bank vault of any important consequence to these two people, except for someone letting them out. And so then you need to create an entirely interesting plot inside this one room. It's just an interesting, like, writing exercise. I feel like Ruby might have actually done something similar in one episode, but I might be wrong. That was it. Yeah. That was definitely... Although, and that one's still even low spent. I think another kind of... Somewhat example of that, at least to a more limited extent, would have been the, uh, God, I can't remember them, the atrophies or the, or apathy, yeah, the apathy episode was very centrally focused inside that area, yeah, and, and once again, while there is differences, etc., you know, outside of versus, I think that they do a good job at pushing the general story forward in Ruby without relying on the combat. Especially, obviously, since the loss of uh, Monty and the the overall, at least and maybe until more recent series. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. This is just my personal opinion, but the, the, the fighting animation has never been up to par with what Monty did since he left, or passed. 
sorry, not left, passed. That's just my opinion, though. I'm sure a lot of people don't feel that way. I just really loved his fighting choreography. It was excellent. It was very, very good. Oh, yeah. It it was full of energy. Yes, he was unique, distinct, very good. All right, well, let's uh, let's get ready for the next episode. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.